When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we leave Lady Musgrave Island and everything that this amazing place has to offer and head for cover in Pancake Creek as the weather turns a little bit windy for us. Our sails come out second best as we have a few little wind gusts over the 30 knots and leave us with a little extra work to do in Pancake Creek. So we've arrived in at Pancake Creek, we're in the second anchorage in. Uh, Lee just decided to get in the tent and it, and it flipped and I thought I was going to capture him falling in but I was a bit slow and he didn't fall. <laughs> Maybe he will in a second. <laughs> but he's going to put the frames from the fish he caught last night <laughs> Go on, fall in. <laughs> He's going to put the fish frames in the crab pot and take the crab pot over and hopefully we can get some crabs. Oh, it's a little bit stinky, but it's just our... I saved a little bit for the crab pot and there we might catch ourselves a crab. But it's stuck. It's low tide so we might just mosey straight over there. See what we can do. One should be enough. Yeah, Mama. Just doing our washing, which is overdue. We haven't washed for about nearly two months. So we haven't used too many clothes. We've been in uh, on the reef for a few weeks. But we were in um, we're in Brisbane and we were in Sunshine Coast, so we haven't washed since Brisbane, which was a little while ago. So uh... What, what are you doing here? You got a big tub. Got some soap suds in there. That's where the rinse bucket. Um, how are you getting water for that to do your washing? We've got a water maker running and we can make water as we wash. Just so amazing because we haven't been able to do this before. Usually come wash time the kids just empty out their whole cupboard. But now that they actually have to wash their own clothes, we tend to find that they don't actually go through as many clothes. That's true. A little clothesline rigged up here. Kids actually like doing the washing on Catalpa. Bella or Taj have never helped me do washing. Or maybe Bella has a few times. But... Simple living. The joys. Found a really good way of doing it. You spin it around like a washing machine and it stops. So after everything else was cleaned up on the boat, it was just one last one to scrub up and then it was time to go exploring. We then hopped in the tender, Taj and I went to check on the crab pots that were placed earlier, but no luck. So it's our second day in Pancake Creek, we've come in from the reef to get out of the wind because there was a really strong wind coming through and we thought we'll come in here get a few jobs done uh, yesterday we did all our washing and what else did we do? we cleaned tidied up a little bit from sailing that was about it had a look around, put a crab pot, crab pot out see if we can get some crabs had no luck yesterday but maybe 
this morning. Uh, we're about to make some breakfast, have some pancakes. Lee is up on the deck and I'm not sure what he's doing, so let's go check it out. We, oh, we had to repair our sail. That's right. We had a little tear in our sail from our sail yes, the day before. Oh, what have you done? Well, you've been up early putting the lazy jacks on. Yeah, not on, on. Just sort of got them roughly sorted. I think that might be right. It's going to run two lines up to two little blocks. Sail goes up and down inside that. So me and the kids don't have to scamper on deck in the howling wind to drop the sail. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. It's, it's, a, quick, it's a little bit safer. Well, with that design, I don't know. It seems to be a common sort of pattern a lot of people use. It looks really good. Two blocks up there. It's so clever. And see how it goes, and maybe just I've just I just tied that one. So it's really windy, so it's probably all that wind howling noise that everybody loves on our YouTube videos right now. It's freezing. <laughs> it's getting warmer now though, it's colder in here. Oh, it's really cold here. We need to get further north. Another hour and I reckon I'll have these ready. Aha! Uh -huh. So we will keep an eye on Lee's progress. No doubt I will have to pull him up the mast, I'm sure. So, um... The lazy jacks were actually like top priority on our list when we went back home. And we ended up leaving without having them done again. <laughs> We've only been here two days and we've got a lot of things done, so that's cool. It's time for some pancakes, baby girl. Yum. I don't know if I can see you at least. Mars. Cut it. How cold is it here? It's freezing. I know how to get back up the mast. My pup rivet gun broke and I've just done a little bodgy fix on it. Hopefully I just got two rivets to pop off to my little blocks for my lazy jacks. And there's nowhere to go and buy another pop rivet gun around here. There's actually nothing. So <laughs> I'm hoping I can do this and then continue on with the lazy jacks. Uh, We've got all our warm clothes out. It's freezing <laughs> we are cold. It's so cold. Every meter well, right I got my mask. Ugg boots on and I'm freezing. So Lee's going back up the mast and I've got jobs where I've got to stand in the wind. Not very long. He's got it way worse than I do. But um, got a runny nose. It was only t the day before yesterday. We were out at the reef and I had to wear nothing but a bikini for about. 10, the last 10 days. I'm freezing. So round two, back up the mast. It's freezing cold and I've got a pop rivet gun that I've just put a U-bolt around to try and hold it together. It actually split straight down the middle. It was an old uh, inheritance from the uh, grandfather, but it's obviously had its day. And here we go, up the mast. And we did get the job done. I only had to get two done, so new rivet gun when we get to port next. So not to go too in-depth here, but I've just put a layer of Carboline two-pack um, epoxy sealer over everything, over the existing steel and um, ferrous cement that we can see here in preparation for the mix that I've made up, which is Mega Epoxy, which again is another two-pack um, epoxy mortar. 100 MPA, very strong. It was only a minor crack that started out, but one thing I have learnt with a ferro boat, it, it is reasonably easy to patch, but definitely prevention's better than cure. The sooner you actually get in and fix these cracks up, um, yeah, there's a lot less problems further on down the track. So there we have it. Easy little fix. Sand it, paint it. Job done. So we're running out of food, it's been about a month, we've got a lot of dry food and that, but we've got the fish that Taj and I caught, but as a little garnish on the side, what have we got here? we got some sprouts, darling. Homegrown! Well, through here, I fastened the backing board on, 
I've just cut them off and Loctited them on. Um, and I've run the bar straight across the front just with a line of rope. Just a quick, simple little fix for now. Before this, the jerry cans were just tied on with rope. We actually had a couple of them come loose and just sent up on the deck. So now we shouldn't have any problem. Good job, honey. We got laser jags. Um. Ready to go and play again. He's over it. <laughs> We're gonna go back out in the reef and just yeah. have some chill time. Let's go diving. Also done, he's patched a lot of, there was a really big crack around the bottom of our rigging. Um, and there was a few other patches. <laughs> so Lee's just putting all a uh, final coat on all the touches, all the touch ups that he's done since we've been at Pancake Creek. We haven't done much since we've been at Pancake Creek as in exploring, but Lee's been flat out patching the boat, putting on our lazy jacks, doing a securing of our tanks over here. The kids have been catching up on some schoolwork and I've completed about three or four movies. So we'll slowly upload those while we've got some internet and we also got Telstra internet which means we should be able to have internet out on the reef which will be better because we haven't been able to upload for the last three weeks so I apologize it's been a little bit slow but we're back on track and we're hoping to be able to upload at least a movie a week so we're also trying to work out whether we go and stock up before we go back out to the reef. We're just trying to work out where we can go and stop. We're trying to avoid marinas for um, cost-wise. So we're going to go up the coast. There's a few ports to come in, but we need somewhere where we can anchor and not be in a marina. Um, otherwise, we're going to go back out to the reef without stocking up, which we are a little bit low on food, but it is possible. We catch plenty of fish. We've got plenty of rice and some dry food so we'll be fine It'll be a bit like survivor but um hopefully we're either gonna head off tomorrow or the following day so the winds are supposed to calm down after today it's still pretty windy and it's strong wind in here and then out on the reef is usually you know a lot stronger so i think we made a good decision coming in here and we're all caught up on all our jobs and we can go back out and have some fun. Cookie dough. Yummy. We must come here. Making chalk chip cookies mm. with my Bella. And it's good. In my tummy. So yummy. Biscuits. Tea. So these are our favourite at the moment with our reef fish that Lee and Taj caught, that's, what did we get, Spangled Emperor? They These taste like chicken. Thai fish cake. So all I do is blend the fish, ginger, garlic, some lemongrass, coriander, bit of uh, lime, kefir lime leaves and some fish sauce in the blender, whiz it all up and then fry them. Absolutely and beautiful. They taste like chicken. <laughs> Very good. After getting all our boat jobs done, and on our last day here, we went ashore and had a bit of a walk to have a look around. That afternoon we decided to go ashore and have a fire with our friends from Say No More. It was a beautiful night and a great way to end our stay at Pancake Creek. So just leaving Pancake Creek. Back to the reef, yes! Fitzroy Reef. So heading out to Fitzroy Reef today. We've had
had a lovely week in Pancake Creek. We didn't actually do anything on the land. We did everything on the boat. So we got Lazy Jacks on, we got heaps of stuff done. And our boat job's done. But all our boat job's done. Pretty much 90% of them. So that was amazing. And uh, we caught up with Say No More. They're setting sail today too. But they're gonna head to Lady Musgrave. A little bit jealous. No, we're going to Fitzroy Reef and it's pretty good too. So we're heading out and we've got an alarm going off. See like anchor alarm. Oh, yes, anchor watch. <laughs> Can you do that from there? You want me to get it? So join us next time as we head back out to the Great Barrier Reef. Thanks heaps for watching. Remember, if you like this video, please click the like button and leave a comment down below. Cheers, guys. Until next time. Bye. Tell me, brother, hear what I say. There's a sin.